What's up guys, my name is Rudy and welcome to Let's Play Children of a Dead Earth. I am doing the Force Production campaign mission, which I have actually played already, and I did quite well with it, but I guess I'll see what happens this time around. So, basically, the USTA has made a move against Mars, uh, the headquarters of the Republic of Free People, and we've been sent out to take out the enemy ship. Let's get this going. Incoming ship. Okay, so, the enemy is in a retrograde orbit that is highly inclined, I think. So, we're so close to Mars right now, it's going to take us a lot of Delta V to escape. And our missiles and drones do not have the Delta V for this. So, I mean, we have a support carrier and a skirmisher. I have a large amount of missiles and drones. So, what I should do is, I should move my fleet into a higher orbit. So, I'm going to burn prograde. In fact, I think I'm going to match orbit with Deimos. And then from there, I'll be at a higher orbit than the enemy. And then I can rain missiles and drones down upon them. So let's match Deimos orbit. That's going to cost us only uh, uh, one kilometer per second of Delta V, this entire maneuver. Alright, we did it. Now, I'm going to start off with a volley of striker nuclear missiles, so... Let's grab our skirmisher. Ooh, the Singularity? What is it called? The Singularity Petal, huh? Let's give him a nice warm-up of 20 Striker missiles. Let's see, let's uh burn Retrograde. Now, I mean, we've, we used a lot of Delta V to get these missiles here, so the missiles don't have to do as much work. And then we'll, we're going... So, I've decreased... Let's see, that's more like it. So, the missile trajectory has been shrunk. My, my orbit has been shrunk down. And then now here, I can match orbit with the laser frigate around Mars, which I will do. And I'll have plenty of Delta V to make that match up. It's, it's using up a good portion of my Delta V. And we'll see how this goes. Alright, so now, if I select my laser fleet... Uh, we can see that they're just they're on the exact same orbit. They're gonna run right into the enemy ship, the USTA laser frigate. And here they go. They're not trying any sort of evasive action. Incoming transmission. May the best commander win, Republic Admiral. Okay, I'm going to cancel my orders for my striker missiles. I'm going to group them in units of five and do controlled homing at the enemy. So there's the enemy ship. We'll see how this goes. And then I'm just going to control homing them one by one. That way they'll come in in groups of five. So they're picking off some of my missiles. And that's all there is to it. Commodore Vanahannon is just a memory now. Good work, Admiral. So, I mean, they lost power generation. Okay, yeah. Fairly straightforward. Ah, and I did not quite beat... It says a new record. It took one day and three hours, but I used up more Delta V than my best. Okay. Well, that was actually kind of quick. I think I am going to play Force Projection again and try out some different things. Uh, actually... I have some ideas kicking around in my head. I think this the whole tactic of having the enemy in an opposite Incoming retrograde transition. orbit and then matching their orbit and sending missiles straight at them in the opposite direction seems highly effective t to me because my missiles will come in at such a great velocity that the enemy has very little chance to shoot them down. But what I want to do now is I want to try uh, basically matching their orbit and their orbit's direction and maybe bringing the missiles in in a slightly slower trajectory just to see how that might work out. I have, I mean, I don't think it's going to be as effective, but I just kind of want to try it out and see how it works because I think uh, I want to keep this tactic in mind for the future and I want to compare, I want to compare the two methods. So I'm just going to have my main fleet match the laser frigate there. It's going to cost 1.2 Delta V. Yeah, let's try that out. I really don't want my main fleet to encounter the enemy frigate, though. So now that I'm here, I'm going to try in reverse direction. 
I can't seem to get it quite circularized. Okay, well that should be good. I mean, the important thing is is that I'm I've uh, matched inclination. All right, so I have a new trajectory now. I should be safe. I should not be intercepting the enemy laser frigate. So now I'm going to try launching some missiles and I'm going to see how this works compared to the previous playthrough. So now I'm going to burn prograde with my missiles and just sort of set up a, a more conventional interception like right here like so instead of so I'm gonna sort of come in behind the frigate and I'm going to have a much lower relative velocity so I'm thinking that's gonna give the enemy oh not enough Delta V damn ha ah, I don't like that what about here okay that's gonna work out so I feel like I'll be coming in at a much lower so there's my main fleet, there are the missiles. I'll be coming in at a much lower velocity. They'll probably have the ability to shoot Incoming down many more of my missiles. See, I believe in the previous attempt it was like more than two kilometers per second, but now it's only 337 meters per second. So I, as I've mentioned time and time again, I think we're going to have less effective results. So we'll do the same type of controlled homing tactic. So our missiles come in in groups of five. And now the enemy's gonna have much more opportunity to fire lasers at me. God, wow, look at that. That is such an impressive sight. I think uh, the statistics on Mars said there's like over 800 people living there. All right, so we got 39 seconds to go. Our missiles are, are coming in. They don't seem to be burning their fuel at all even though they're set to controlled homing. Oh, that guy is a... Uh, that, that guy, that's a real go-getter. All right, okay, uh, we're losing our missiles pretty quickly. What if I set you to full homing? Oh, I see they were saving all their Delta V for the final terminal phase, and here we are. Oh, look at that. Ho oh, ho, that was devastating. So, I mean, we were still able to get a ton of missiles in to the enemy. And I feel like the, the reason why we didn't destroy the enemy ship is we just maybe got unlucky. Or maybe we got extraordinarily lucky the first time around. Well, so, I mean, even though our missiles came in at a much lower velocity, they were still extremely deadly. And I guess while we are here... Let's uh, throw in some drones and finish this off. 20 Stinger drones. Okay, we can intercept the enemy here. It's gonna be uh, three days from now. So much rotation. Wow, that was a crazy trajectory. Again, I mean, we're not going for efficiency here. We just want to try out some things. Where is that crazy planet Mars? It's fitting that we would have a war in the orbit of the god of war. Wow, that is breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. I They're probably going to take out... Oh, and all the heat has dissipated. We, yeah, we disabled their, some nuclear rockets, and but we haven't... We disabled a good amount of their lasers, which is a good thing. Do they only have four lasers? Are they completely disarmed? I think so. All right. Here comes our firepower. Whoa! Incoming transmission. We handled the situation quite well. Okay, let's uh, give Incoming it another shot. I want to try my first tactic that I did in my first attempt where I expanded my orbit, except I want to use drones this time instead of missiles. So we're going to expand our orbit to Deimos. Match orbit. Just like the first attempt. Okay, now I'm going to launch drones this time instead of missiles. Let's use uh, the 20 Stinger drones. And uh, 
So we need to burn retrograde. And just like before, I mean, we used a lot of Delta V up to get the drones into this position, so now the drones won't have to do quite so much work. And now the drones should be uh, directly heading directly to the enemy ship. Yeah, we're going to have an interception there on the day side of Mars. This should be quite impressive looking. Bam! Incoming transmission. May the best admiral win. We already know who the best admiral is, and that is me. So the flyby in 16 seconds. Yeah, we're coming at them at almost 3 kilometers per second, just like the missiles, but this time we have our drones. I'll just set them orienting broadside. That's fine, and the enemy ship will target the... Yeah, just target everything on the enemy ship. Just completely pepper them. This should be glorious. And they got their full array of lasers. Oh ho, man, look at that. Wow. So, how come they were so effective against the drones, but not against the, the, the missiles? Let's send in the main fleet and just take them out. This, this should be pretty fun. We have all of our weapons enabled. Uh, fly by in 19 seconds, I'll have all ships orient broadside. Let's go. Destroy them, please. Let's put an end to this. Enemies firing their railguns. Oh, I need to target some enemy systems, don't I? Okay, here come my firepower. And we did it. Okay, well, of course, I didn't beat my best, but hey, that was some fun experimentation. Thank you for watching. My name is Rudy. Hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing, and I will see you for the next mission, Uranian Cargo Run, next time on Let's Play Children of a Dead Earth.